certainly stay away from the left leg, circle away from it. But when you do that, you got to watch out for Yod's lead hook. He's great with that also, but got to use his speed in and out quick. Score your points. Don't get in a banging war with this guy. Okay, folks, let's take a close look. The middleweight championship on the line. It's Yod's Clay Fertex and Chica Lindsay. <laughs> Everybody knows left kick, left hand. Like maybe nine years ago when I first saw him. So I'm very familiar with the stuff. I'm very familiar with the stuff. Yosakai hasn't really fought anybody with the kind of speed that I have. The guys that have the reach on him, they don't use it too much. They let him come in close and do his game. But before this fight, I was a fan of Yosakai. After this fight, I'm still going to be a fan. But right now, he's my opponent. That's, that's it right now. After the fight, I go back to being a fan. Winning this belt against somebody of Yosin Clyde's caliber is to put Muay Thai on the map for America. It would open a lot of eyes in America to the sport, and it would open up uh, a lot of eyes all over the world to America as a force in the sport. I have a lot of different people. I have a lot of people in America, but I have a lot of people in America, and I have a lot of people. Can he win gold in America? Yodson Clive Fairtex, Chica Lindsay, our main event. Once again, let's go up to Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome as he makes his way to the ring, Chica Lindsay. Chica Lindsay says that every opponent of Yodson Clive's in the past has gone forward on him and then stepped back. He says no one has kept going forward. No one pressures Yodson Klein to go back to the ropes. He says tonight he will be the man to put Yodson Klein on the back foot, to put him at arm's length and always be in Yod's face with the jab. The jab is what to watch out for on Chica Lindsay. His last fight was in May. He scored a first round knockout over James Martinez with a left knee. He's beaten the likes of Somluck, Maiti, Mulkai Marimo, fought Malapet twice, beat him both times. Chica Lindsay has the tools, but he's never fought someone the quality of Yodson Clyde Fairtex. And now making his way to the ring, here is Yodson Clyde Fairtex. He really needs no introduction in the fighting world. Yodson Clive Fertex, arguably the best fighter of his generation in Muay Thai. He has just won everything there is to win. Lumpini champion really says it all, but above and beyond that even, 2012 WMC World Middleweight Champion, WBC number one, the Contender Asia Championship that he won in Singapore, defeating Wayne Parr. There's a reason they call him the fighting computer. He arrived here five days ago from Thailand. Since his last fight at Lion Fights against Grimory Chocolate, he's had three more fights, won all three, including a win over Johan Ledoc in France. His third time defeating Johan Ledoc. This man is just awesome. The tail of the tape. 259 pro fights versus 26. Two years the younger is Yod, he is the shorter. He gives up arm and leg reach to Chica Lindsay. Our experts fight gauge. Yod Sinclair has the kicks, has the punches, knees are even. Yod has the elbows, has the power. Once again, let's go to Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, Lion Fight Promotions in association with the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino and Access TV is proud to present our featured bout of the evening, 
scheduled for five rounds for the Lion Fight World Middleweight title. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. The chairman is Bill Brady. Commissioners are Francisco Aguilar, Skip Avancino, TJ Day, and Pat Lundvall. And the executive director is Keith Kaiser. Our physicians at ringside, the lead is Dr. Vicky Mazzarana, assisted by Dr. William Berliner and Dr. Michael Gunter. Our timekeepers are Jim Cavan and Toby Murray. Our three judges scheduled to score this bout will be John Baker, Patricia Morris Jarman, and Glenn Trowbridge. And when the action starts, the man in charge, referee, Janichiro Camillo. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino, right here in exciting Las Vegas, Nevada, it's time for the Leather to Fly. This is the main event. Introducing first, he'll be fighting out of the blue corner. He entered the ring wearing red trimmed in silver, and he weighed in at 154 pounds. His record stands at 24 victories, only two defeats, six wins by knockout. He comes to us from Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Chike Lindsay. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. His trunks, red, black, and silver, and he weighed in at 154 pounds. His professional record, 184 victories, 71 defeats, including four draws, 71 big wins by knockout. Coming to us from Pattaya, Thailand, ladies and gentlemen, here is the living legend, Yosin Claude Ferte. Give us a good quick fight. Touch them up. Go back to your corner. Final instructions from the centre referee. The middleweight championship on the line. Yodzik okay. Clive Fairtex odds close at minus 1,050. Chika Lindsay at plus 550. Lindsay's got to start fast and strong and try to catch Yodzik Clive Cole. Michael Chevallo, Pat Militich with you. Yodzik Clive, the southpaw. And already he's winding up that vicious rear leg round kick. Chiki's got a lot of speed on his stuff. Keep an eye on him. See if he can catch him early. Chiki cannot afford to let Yodson Klein find his rhythm, find his range. He sends Yod back the straight right hand. Almost blew him into our laps with that right hand. Yodson Klein has fought the best of the best. He's beaten the best of the best. Nice angle after that right hand. That's what he's got to do. Good jab from Chike Lindsay, showing the hand speed here. Nice check from Yodson Clay. Yodson Clay's legs are huge. Tree trunks for thighs. Look for the body shot off Yodson Clay off the left hand. Snappy jab from Chica Lindsay. There's the body shot from Yodson Clyde. And the round kick. Nice power. I saw Gregory Chopman get some nice punches to Yodson Clyde. Their fight at Lion Fight H. As Yod did start slowly. But once Yodson Clyde wound up his round kick, it was a different story. He dismantled Chopman. And Chica Lindsay is getting some punches in here. Yeah, his jab is landing, which is hard to do against the lefty. He's so fast, though, and he feints it so well. He can get Yodson Clyde moving that right hand, trying to, trying to parry it, and then he'll throw it. It's always been the premier weapon of Chica Lindsay, that beautiful jab of his. Nice hook from Chica. Oh, great jab sets up that lead hook. I don't know if Yod was quite expecting that Chike's hands would be this fast and this accurate this early on. It's a solid start from the American. Left hook. Get a little overextended there, got to be careful doing that. Nice jab again. It's definitely Chike Lindsay's round. Yod winds up the round kick, but 
Chico was nowhere in range. Inside link kick from Yod. He went to throw it high and he pulled it and went low with it. That was interesting how he did that. He put the brakes on and changed direction. Right? Seconds remains in the first round. Tip kicking a flicking left out from lots of play. Want to watch the elbows of Yacht in the clinch. There's the upper elbow trying to shave the nose off. Very good start from Chico Lindsay. Yes, sir. TK throwing that jab, setting it up, and then coming with the cross behind it. This kid is quick, man. Throwing the front kick, pushing him back into the ropes. Coming with the elbow over the top. Good job mixing things up, but his speed is definitely helping. Remember we do one, two, in the right. Come back to the left with long left hook. You understand now? Everything perfect. You understand? Perfect, Keep your movement a little bit more, all right? Looking good. Hudson Clay first to emerge from his stall. Chico Lindsay, no doubt about it, 10 9 in the first round. For the man from Atlanta, Georgia. From the obvious body language of the Hudson Clay's corner man, didn't have to understand. He was telling him, circle him the other way into your power. Yod winds up. Already a little more snap about Yodson Clay here at the start of the second. Double forearms against the round kick from Lindsay. Yod wants to break those ribs. What he does a lot is smash opponents' forearms so they can't raise them anymore to protect the jaw and then come over the top. That body kick got in. Double jab, right hand. Chica Lindsay. Chica doing a good job of turning him after his punches. There's a nice one two from Yodson Clay. Body shot from Chica. He circles off, but he's going the wrong way. He's yeah. drifting into the left side of Yod. He wants to be going into Yod's right side. Yodson Clay becomes deadly when you get stuck on those ropes with him. Cannot get hung up there. There's a cut over the eye of Yodson Clay, over the left eye. It's in a bad, bad place. If Lindsay could open that cut up, he has a real opportunity going here. Yeah. He can open it up with a jab, Pat. It's in a bad place that if it does open, they'll stop this fight later on. And it's perfectly placed for the jab. Yod's got him where he wants him, on the ropes. Lindsay's got to stay off of there. Nice knee from Yod. Short, powerful fighter. Tremendously strong Yod Sinclair. Oh, Lindsay goes after that damage die with the right hand. Fainted, Lindsay threw, tried to counter what wasn't coming, and then Yod came with his. Yod misses, not so the round kick. It was off the non-preferred leg, however. He wants that left leg round kick. Goes to the body shot off the left. Nice knee. Yeah. Scoring stuff for Yotsen Clay. Oh, the elbow! Slicing. Went right past his head. Much better round here for Yotsen Clay Fairtex. Doing a nice job blocking out inside so he keeps that right elbow low and inside. Nice elbow again off the right. Throws a knee. It's all scoring stuff here for the tie. Lindsay's got to find that jab again. Oh. Walks into an elbow. Good knee from Yodson Clay. Leads with the left. Cracks the round kick into the humorous, but there was nothing funny about it. They clinch up for the final few seconds. End of the round. Better round for Yodson Clay, but. Uh, GK still getting in the punches, doing a good job of landing those. Probably opened him, opened him up potentially with uh, either the elbow or the punch. 
Probably that one right there. A little bit of thumb glancing across the eye. Very good instruction from the corner to Chike Lindsay. You've got to move because if you're a stagnant target, Yodson Ply will score on you as he did in the second round. 19 points apiece after two. Yod, as he has for three rounds straight now, opens up with a left round kick. Lindsay trying to move left hard when that kick comes to take some heat off of it. Done it twice now in this round already. Yod snaking both arms. Both hands around the back of the neck, the full tie grapple. Now just a single hand. Now he snakes it through. Wants to get a bit of head control here. Maybe work the elbow off the right arm. Good knee from Yotsen Clay. Another, another elbow. Nice. Knees from both men. Elbow again from Yod. Left hand oh. uppercut. And now Chico Lindsay is open. He's cutting the exact same place as Yotsen Clay is. Over the left eye. Yotsen opened him. Chico got rocked a little bit there. He's hurt. Chica Lindsay looks nervous for the first time in this fight. Up got elbow from Yon. Walked right into that elbow. You are starting to see the behemoth emerge. Elbows, knees from Yotsen Klai. He's moved up a gear in this round. He clips Chica Lindsay with the right hand and the solid left. Smack back to the shoulder. And once this guy smells blood, man, he just gets on people. Yod throws the knees. Chike Lindsay's confidence he had after the first round is quickly diminishing here. He has failed to put the jab in the face of Yotsen Klai in the third. And he did not do what his corner asked him to do, move. Yod with another elbow. Lindsay on the back foot. He does not want his back against the ropes. He's got to stay off the ropes. Yotsen Klai walks him back, catch and counter perhaps. Elbow from Yod. Nothing what? wrong with that, the referee yeah. was very slow to get in there. Yep. Good knee from Yotsen Klai, and another elbow. He is just slicing, dicing, and filleting. Body shot, uppercut, almost at will now, Yotsen Klai, vertex. He's not doing anything fancy. His basics are just better than everybody else's. Oh, he hits him in the eye! And again oh. to the eye! Chico Lindsay's eye almost closed shut! Yotsa Clay doing a number on him! Hey. He's just dominant. You see why Yotsa Clay Fairtex is so revered. My word. Just a shutout round there. Oh, uh, yeah. Yods and Clyde showing why he is a legend. Look at him inside. Blocking, he lifts the head with that while he's blocking him out with that right forearm and then throws that right elbow. He's kind of got his pick and then following up with some punches. He can throw that right elbow or he can bring the left one because he's blocking him out. Nice short little gap creator there. Here it is again. Another one. Throws the knee in, blocked by the glove. Then the other elbow comes. We just saw one of the most fascinating sights in combat sports. Johnson Clive Fairtex stepping up a gear and opening up on an opponent. He cut Chica Lindsay. They both now have cuts over the left eye, but Lindsay's is worse, much worse. I had See to give if Yotsen Clyde can get the momentum. Continue. I had to give him a 10-8 round there. He dismantled it. Without a knockdown, that was a 10-8 round. Jab from Chico Lindsay. He's going to start finding range again with his boxing. Exactly. Box with this guy. Oh, Yotsen Clyde. Stiff left cross. He's 
the round kick. There's the gut munching knees, belly button through the back. Knocking the wind out of him a little bit. You can see him huffing and puffing. Oh. Watson Clyde sharp defensively. Oh, Chica Lindsay felt that one. He was ready to fold. Hurt the body. Jab two. Body shot from Yod. He knows he's hurt the body of the American. Body again from Yod. Just stalking him around the ring and punishing him. You hear the knee bounce off the cup. Tie fighters generally won't complain when they get kneed or kicked in the groin. Got steel cups on. Chica Lindsay's left eye almost shut now. Uppercut elbow, nicely done from Lindsay. He is all heart, Chica Lindsay. Yeah, having it, you know, for as bad as he got damaged in that previous round, doing a good job here. Ah, to get off the ropes. Body shot from Yod. The chance come up for Yod Sinclair. Round kick. Left cross, crossing elbow. Blood streaking out of that eye. And there's another cut on the forehead of Chica Lindsay now. Johnson Fly has made him bleed. Now Chica is moving backwards for him one technique at a time, just trying to keep him off him a little bit. That is a lot of blood. Uppercut elbow from Chica Lindsay. Johnson Fly has really opened him up in this round. He's done a number on him. He's bleeding big time. Uppercut! Chica leaves his blood all over Yotsen Clyde's gloves here. It is a bloodbath. It is a horror movie. Oh, the big kibosh! He busted him wide open! He busted him wide open! Lindsay and a whole world of hurt here! This is just horrible. This is just an absolute dismantling. I don't think anyone would complain if the referee stopped Not at all. right now. It may be the humane thing to do. Yodson Clyde has just torn Chica Lindsay to shreds. I glance across at one of the judges and she is grimacing in disgust at the cuts of the blood leaking out of the face of Chica Lindsay. You are just two. seeing a fighter in Yodson Clyde at the very top of his game. Dismantling him again, throwing elbows, just chopping him up. Perfect timing on everything. Blistering with the kicks, punishing that right hand. That'll tend to keep a guy's right hand at home when you keep throwing those powerful kicks into it. Almost put him down with that right hook there. Okay, one, two, right, two, one. Do the same thing. Watch it off. Watch it off. now. Doctor's looking a little concerned. Two very bad cuts, on, one over the thigh, one on the forehead. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, Chica Lindsay gonna come out for the next round. Referee slapped the corner man. Yep. Doctor took a very good look at the cut on Chica Lindsay and deemed it's okay to go on here. Referee slapped Chica's corner man, told him to get out, slapped him on the back. Oh, there's the round kick. He's opened up five rounds in a row with the same technique. God, he's going to the body now. Counter right hand from Chica. Lindsay throws a hook. Chica is still in this fight. Yeah, it's trying to time those right hands to catch him in the liver with the body kick. I tell you what, Pat, Johnson Clyde dangerously is dropping his right hand, and Chica could catch him with the left hook. Yes. That's the opening. Right. And a hurt fighter is a very dangerous fighter, especially a guy this athletic and this powerful. Johnson Clyde cannot afford to get cocky. Blood again, just spewing out of the face here of Chica Lindsay. Now Yod lifts up that right hand because he's got a cut on his right cheek. You can see the Vaseline or the adrenaline pack that they put in the cut stuck to the side of his head now. Got peeled out of the cut, so it's doing no good. Chica Lindsay is fighting with two cuts and one eye. Good right hand from Chica. Rooks the head back of Yod. Yeah, stuck it good. 
lot of heart out of this guy. Very few expected Chick had Lindsay to go the distance with Jotson Klein. Will that come true? Or will Jot finish him? Or can Chick and Lindsay find a Hail Mary shot? He stunned Jotson Klein with that right hand. Make no doubt about it. He stuck him twice this round with it. He hasn't remained a target, a stagnant target. And Yod hasn't been able to firmly plant the punches like he did in the fourth round. Exactly, more movement. Look at him cutting an angle now. A bloodied up GK Lindsay. I can smell, I can smell the blood. Yeah. Lots of like tanking that left. GK there with the right. Coming right back. GK showing a lot of heart, landing some good shots. High right round. Time now the enemy for GK Lindsay. He's got to find one big salvo. Could it be the left hook? Oh, geez. Pat, we got splattered. You get... Ah! Oh. I keep telling people it needs to be like a Gallagher concert at the Lion. Lion fights, we need fist queen. Yeah. Final 10 seconds. Chica Lindsay, a tremendous, tremendous show of heart. Giving your player a true battle. My word, standing ovation here at the Hard Rock. We cop so much blood that our floor director here just had to get a hold of a towel and actually wipe our jackets down. That was tremendous. Chica Lindsay didn't need to come out for the fifth round. He already proved what Hardy oh. had. And he came out for the fifth and he lit up Jotson Klein on a few occasions there in the final round. Just going to show that if he kept moving Pat and those hands have been fast enough, because they were fast enough, he might have been in with a bit of chance. Well, you wonder if he stopped moving at some point too because of the kicks to the body. The straight lefts to the body, took some gas out of him. Uh, you know, a lot of reasons that can happen, but uh, nevertheless, Another the movement in the middle of the fight not being there definitely caused it problems. Another big difference, too, when they were in the clinch, Jotson Clare at length, I should say close in, Jotson Clare had the elbows. Chico just didn't have the elbow game to trade with Jotson Clare. Tremendous. Not a guy you want to be in there with. In the clinch, or or outside. <laughs> okay, Jake Gutierrez. He's going to make this one all official. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of our main event, we go to the scorecards. Judge Patricia Morris Jarman scored it 48 of 47. Judges Glenn Trowbridge and John Baker scored this bout 49 of 46. All for the winner by unanimous decision. And now he is the Lion Fight World Middleweight Champion, Yeltsin Klai Fairchild. Yeltsin Klai Fairchild does it. One crazy imbecile judge had one point difference between them. Ridiculous. What, 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 what is going on? Seriously ridiculous. Someone needs to sit down with the Nevada State Athletic Commission and talk to these judges and referees tonight, because that is crazy. We need a documentary. Anyway, Yotsen Clay Fairtex has done it. He has won the championship in bloody, bloody fashion here. And again, brought the house down. He is just an animal. He is a machine. Pat, once again, Yod is something special to behold, isn't he? Uh, I'm just, I, I'm really happy that my life has been able to experience witnessing this ringside. This guy's amazing. We are going to see more of him. And folks, you've been watching Lion Fight on Access TV from Las Vegas. The executive producer of Access Sports is Daryl Ewalt.
Our director, Jason Vaughan. Our producer, Mike Ricci. Tape producer, Josh Harper the third. Director of Live Operations, Chris Markwell. Production assistant, Jamie McClintock. Technical director, Mikael Bruitan. Audio by Doug Deans. Our own engineering, Dan Neighbors and Lonnie Thomas. Field production, John Turner and Jorge Molina. Manager of Business Affairs, Adam Swift. The CEO of Access Fights, he's also covered in blood, Andrew Simon. For my broadcast partner, Pat Militich, I'm Michael Chevallo saying so long from Las Vegas.